Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share this video with you. You may have seen other videos of mine where I talked about mixing canny uh, gels to make a really nice top coat. Well, I did it and I just love it. Uh, as you just saw, I showed you the canny uh, no wipe top coat in 15 mils and just now I'm opening the clear canny builder gel in number 301 and I'm just going to break the seal of it here and we'll get started on showing you what I do to mix it. It's kind of nice that they come with that uh, seal on them and then you know you're not going to have any running into your packaging. I'm just using a little stir stick here and I'm going to remove, I've got a little bit on the top of the seal so we'll get that off, might as well not waste. Uh, very important when you're going to be mixing this top coat to use exactly 15 mils of the clear which is the size of these builder gel bottles and like I said the 15 mils of the clear no wipe top coat and then it's going to make a perfect combination. So last night I had mixed a combination of the two gels and you can see it in this container. I had an empty container so I used this one. And anyways, there is no bubbles in it. Uh, when I mixed it last night, you'll see as I mix this uh, gel that there will be bubbles. But if you let it sit overnight, don't uh, mix it just before you're gonna use it on a client because you will have a lot of bubbles and oh, sitting overnight got rid of all those. So anyways, I'm now taking that clear builder gel with a mixing stick here and we're just gonna add it to that container. And of course, I'm just gonna scrape it all. I wanna use it all. Looks like I just about have it all now. I'm just getting a little bit off the bottom. So of course when I get this mixed we're gonna have exactly 60 mils which is great this container will last me a little while for doing people's nails um, I did like I said the 15 and 15 last night because you do a 50 50 mix and now I'm doing a 15 and 15 again and now I'm taking the 15 mils of the top coat and I find with these bottles you just got to put the brush in there and then it starts pouring better so you're going to want to get it all out of there so you just keep it tipped and keep putting the brush in and it releases it oh, i managed to get a little bit on the paper towel below so i'll just pick that up a good shake and make sure I get it all. You can see in the mix that there is a lot of bubbles and I haven't even stirred it yet. But don't worry about it. Like I said, just leave it overnight and then they'll all be gone when you go to use it. I was a little nervous about how this was gonna work 
but I did a video today with a client her, with her nice nails and we used this top coat instead of my Sculpt and Shine and stay watch for that because I'm gonna have that up probably by tomorrow and then you'll see me putting this top coat on and how nice and shiny it was in the end. Okay, so we're giving it a good mix. Of course, you want to have it all mixed. You don't want it separated. You want it all to be the same consistency. I had turned my canny bottle over for a minute or two just to make sure I got everything, but it looks like I got most of it. Okay, I'm just going to give it another good stir around the edges. Just cleaning off that stir stick. And I'm just going to bring it up closer so you can see the bubbles. Like I said, don't worry about that. They'll be gone by the next day. I'm going to put the lid on and I did get a little bit on the side, so I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and clean up that jar. Well, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. And like I said, stay tuned and watch my video coming up by probably tomorrow and you'll see me putting this top coat on, the set of nails. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time, bye.